again, when we, we talk about limited representation in the music, I got to bring up uh, Rich Brian. And you can, you can see his former name um, that he went by and he was introduced into the, the world by with that stick. And, you know, Brian is a, a I believe he's an Indonesia, he's an Indonesian, you know, kid. He's a teenager or was a teenager when this came out. He's, he's a comedian. And, you know, he made this, this song, That Stick, and, like, it's actually really funny. Um, uh, there's a link in the slides to rappers respond to the original, and, like, like Ghostface was like, ugh. And that's why, like, Ghostface actually did a remix of that with him. But, um, yeah, like, this is a real interesting, you know, video and artist because, um, you know, he probably borderlines on the imitative in, in very problematic ways, right? His name, you know, that he originally introduced himself as, and then some of the stereotypes that he flaunts throughout the music video. So we watch little clips from this music video. If you haven't seen it, I think you should just check it out because he got ripped and roasted and he eventually changed his name. And this is what he said. I'm really about seeing people and art for what they are, like seeing people as humans and seeing art. I really don't think my race should be, should matter. Like, I don't think it should be a thing that needs to be asked like, oh shit, are you an Asian rapper? You know, I'm Asian, but this is part of the reason why I regret having rich Chiga. Um, I'm not an anti-Asian. It's not like I hate my own race. People can see it, you know. I'm Asian, so let me do what I want to do. It seems like he didn't really know how to deal with the, the question here. <laughs> I feel like I'm representing Asians in a way. You can't really avoid it. I'm an Asian rapper, even though I wouldn't place myself in that in that in that category. So again, you know, he sort of regrets uh, some of the things he did on that stick, um, you know. But like, yeah. I, it's just pretty interesting, like, I don't hate my own race. People can see it, you know, I'm Asian, so let me do what I want to do. Um, I don't know, again, it's just pretty interesting because it did kind of, like, blow up. Um, and it was hard to tell, like, is this a parody or is this for real? You know, and I don't think we ever really got to the bottom line of that. Is this Is this just a parody? Is he making fun of the fact, you know, that... He's a comedian, right? That like he's, um, you know, playing with these ironic images, um, ironic lyrics, ironic name to him. You know, um, you know how is he sort of using maybe Eminem's inversion or imitation? It's just really hard. It's just a really sort of complicated example. But I want to uh, actually uh, kind of end. Um, you know, focusing on, on uh, you know, Asian, Asian representation and race um, with one of my favorite music videos by Dumbfounded. It's called Safe. Now, um, Dumbfounded is a Korean American. He actually came to UO a few years ago and it was dope. Um, and again, he's an MC, he's an artist. Uh, he's a funny dude, smart dude. Um, but this is sort of after the, the uh, you know, the Oscars so white, um, you know, thing from a few years ago. And Safe is basically, uh, you know, and I'll, I'll let, I'll let um, Dumbfounded say, the title Safe is a reference to how I felt Asians and Asian Americans were being perceived. The model minority, right, that would take it and smile, the punching bag. Uh, of America. Um, I wanted to flip the script on the conversation everybody was having about whitewashing of Hollywood and yellowwash some of the most iconic films starring white male leads. And again, you know, this whole idea of, um, you know, if you watch the uh, Bruce Lee documentary on the ESPN 30 for 30, like this whole idea of, you know, Asians as the model uh, as the model minority in the United States, that they'll, they'll literally, you know, this whole idea um, that, you know, why, well, why are Asians good minorities, you know, um, is because, you know, they do what they're told, they're obedient, you know, they, um, they will, like he said, they're a punching bag, they'll sit back and, and take it, they'll, they'll be the sort of model representation um, of, of a minority here, you know, and that's fucking in incredibly, you know, problematic in so many ways in terms of a representation um, you know, in, 
in cinema and in, in culture. And uh, the interesting thing, if, if you watch the Bruce Lee documentaries, he was a complete challenge to that, um, which is, you know, uh, you know, kind of representing the sort of um, rebellion against that sort of stereotype as the model, the model minority, you know. And they addressed that in that documentary, which I thought was really interesting. But, you know, uh, Dumbfounded does that in a really amazing way, right? So he's basically coming out in this music video and he's critiquing the, this whole, you know, uh, how, you know, everything in Hollywood cinema movies is all is all whitewashed, which, you know, is, this is, you know, um, you know, whiteness sort of takes over. Every, whiteness is, you know, you know, the, the, the Grammy or the Oscars has a white, you know, host and white directors are nominated and white actors win and, you know, all, all that stuff and bringing attention to that. Um, but in this, he's looking at all the limited representations of Asian Americans in cinema. Like, what are the, what how have Asians what roles have they had in you know hollywood what's the type of roles and you can probably look at a very limited you know stereotypical roles that are that are that are given to uh, you know asian characters um in in movies so um he plays with all these sort of white um mainstream movies and white characters and he and superimposes his head over them to give them an amazing sort of um, irony. And then at the end, at the ultimate end, you'll see, I don't want to give it away, but I'm going to, is that, you know, the director of the music video replaces him at the end with, with a white guy. Um, and it's just a, a very important and very, I think, amazing uh, critique of, of whitewashing, you know, and of, you know, um, you know, the, you know, Asian stereotypes. So I think he does a really interesting thing here with safe. So we'll watch that and then we'll get back and we'll chat a little bit more.